Hello and welcome to my channel. Contingency Contract 8 is coming soon and this guide is here to introduce the problematic enemies found in the new permanent map, as well as give some tips and suggest operators to bring into the stage. First up is the nightfall mechanic, when you first enter the stage. The majority of it is covered in darkness, when you deploy an operator, they will instantly light up some tiles around them. After a while, some of the tiles in the direction they are facing will light up as well. You can also make use of the city neons here to light up tiles in its range. Activating one of them costs 20 DP. You will also start with some night emblems. You can use these to light up one tile anywhere on the map for 5 DP. Some of the enemies in this stage also inflicts corrosion damage. When an operator accumulates a certain amount of corrosion damage, they will get a permanent defense debuff and receives a big chunk of physical damage. These mechanics can severely affect your gameplay so be mindful about them while attempting the stage. Moving on to the problematic enemies, we have the Armorless Union Cleanup Squad. They have an extremely big range, big enough to snipe your operators from across the map. All their attacks inflict corrosion damage as well. After every four attacks, they will launch an attack that deals 1.5 times more damage. Thankfully, the corrosion damage inflicted by this attack stays the same. One of them will spawn from this box and later in the stage. Another will appear from here. They will stop at this tile and begin sniping your operators. Due to their positioning, all the tiles in the stage are within their range. They will only begin moving at the end of the stage and take this route, a really troublesome enemy to deal with. The best way to counter them is to use a wandering medic to recover the corrosion damage inflicted onto operators. They have average HP, high attack, low defense and average resistance. Next up, we have the Knight Territory Hibernator. These guys will spawn on these tiles and stay on standby state when they are in areas with no visibility. When on standby, they won't attack or move and will only become active when the tile they are standing on are lit up. They will also become active after 50 seconds. To deal with these guys efficiently, it's best to set up your operators before waking them up, you can then make use of fast redeploys to light up the tiles and kill them off one by one. They have average HP, high attack, average defense and resistance. Now, if you think this video is helpful, do give my channel a sub to show your support. Moving on to the elite enemies, we have the last Keshing, Tola. He will spawn from this box and stop here for a while before taking this weird route. His skill allows him to attack operators with no visibility behind them, this means if the tile behind an operator is dark, they are susceptible to being attacked by this skill. When activated, said operator will receive a big chunk of physical damage. This skill is relatively easy to counter if you take note of your operator deployments. If there are no operators with a dark tile behind them, this skill won't activate. Tola has high HP, high attack, average defense and low resistance. Next up, we have the Candle Knight Viviana, her skill allows her to charge an attack and after 7 seconds, she will deal arts damage to all operators in a big AoE. During the 7 seconds of charging, she will lose invisibility, thankfully, she can be stunned, put to sleep and silenced. This means operators like Lapland, Project Red and Kafka are great counters to Viviana's skill. With a cooldown of 20 seconds, you can consistently cancel her skill with fast redeploys, aside from that, Viviana is a relatively easy enemy to deal with. She will spawn from this box and make a couple of stops along her route. The stops are denoted by an X. She has high HP, average attack and defense and high resistance. Aside from the enemies stated above, there are the trash mobs, out of all of them. The most problematic ones are probably the armorless union assassin where he will gain increased attack for staying in the darkness and it will reset after landing a hit and the armorless union crossbowmen who will deal arts damage when they are in darkness, the crossbowmen only have a two tile range so they aren't a big problem, aside from that, these mobs are very easy to defeat. Next up, it's time to suggest some operators to bring into the stage. First up, we have Chen the holing day, just deploy her on this tile and boom, easy risk 18 clear, to deal with the annoying snipers at the back, using operators that can reflect incoming damage is great. Operators like Hoshiguma's skill 2, Bubble's skill 2 and Yen's skill 2 are all great options. To deal with the high arts damage from Viviana, Nightingale is a great unit to have thanks to the big resistance buff on her skill 3. 
Her bird cages can also take aggro from the snipers. Suzurin can be used for her awesome fragile application, slow and heal, scatty altar for her big inspiration buff. NTR Knight for her stun on deployment and her ability to ignore the deployment limit. Silver Ash for the big swing swing. Surtur for the big arts damage. Pretty general stuff, but there are two unique operators that actually performs well in this stage. The first one is Weedy, as this stage is generally obstacle free. Weedy's push on her skill 3 can shift enemies to the maximum distance. As the true damage dealt from her third skill scales proportionally with the distance shifted. She can clear out the waves of trash mobs easily. The other operator is actually one of the newer 5 stars added to the game. And that is none other than Black Knight, with her skill 2 and some SP batteries, Black Knight can put a whole bunch of enemies to sleep for a really long time, and by that, I mean literally permanent sleep, thanks to the map layout, she can do some serious stalling with her summon, a really fun way to clear the stage. Last but not least, as mentioned previously, the wandering medics can recover corrosion damage. And that is all for this stage guide. Hope this video is helpful in introducing the upcoming CC8 permanent stage. I will be making similar videos in the future so do consider subscribing to stay tuned. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.